Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's take a look at virtual scrolling with Angular CDK. Sometimes you might have to display hundreds or thousands of elements which can be slow in any browser. Virtual scrolling will help you in such situations. With virtual scrolling, you can display large lists of elements performantly by only rendering the items that fit on the screen. Let's see how that can be done in this video. The first step, we need to import the scrolling module from Angular CDK. So in app.module.ts, import scrolling module from Angular slash CDK slash scrolling. Next, add it to the imports array. So scrolling module, add it to the imports array. Now, for the second step, we are going to create an array of a thousand numbers. So in the component class, which is app.component.ts file, I'm going to create a new property, numbers, which is going to be an array. Then in the constructor, for, let i equals zero, i less than thousand, i plus plus, this dot numbers dot push i. All right, now that we have a huge list of numbers, let's render them in the HTML. I will first render them with the ng4 directive and then show you how it works with virtual scrolling. So in the HTML, add a div tag and then add the ng4 directive. ng4 is equal to let number of numbers. And then we simply render the number. I'm also going to add a bit of styling to this div tag. So open app.css and add a class called number with display flex, justify content center, align items center. Let's go with a border, two pixels solid maroon, and then box sizing, border box. And back in the HTML, I'm going to add the class number. All right, if we now save the file and take a look at the browser, you should be able to see all the list of numbers. What I want to focus on though is the DOM itself. If I open DevTools, you can see that all of the thousand elements are present in the DOM tree. So this is the list with ng4 directive. Now let's implement the list with virtual scrolling. Back in the HTML, the first thing we have to do is create a viewport for the virtual scroll. The component is CDK virtual scroll viewport. On this viewport, we have to define the item size attribute. Now this is basically an indication of the size of each element. I have specified item size as 100, so in the number class as well, let's add height is equal to 100. Next, we need to specify a height for the viewport itself. And for that, I'm going to create a CSS class. This is going to be called container, and I'm going to set the height property to 400 pixels. And back in the HTML on the viewport, class is equal to container. Now each element is 100 pixels tall and the viewport is 400 pixels tall. So we should be able to see four elements at any given time. Back in the HTML, I'm going to move this div tag within the viewport. Now for the actual list of numbers, we do the same as what we did before with ng4. The only difference now is that we are going to use CDK virtual 4 instead of ng4. So CDK virtual 4. This is the directive you have to make use of inside a virtual scrolling container. And that is pretty much it. If you now save the files and go back to the browser, we should only be seeing four elements at a time. And as we scroll down, we can see the rest of the elements. But what is important though is observing the DOM tree. 
you can see that instead of rendering all the thousand elements, we are now rendering only a handful of them. As you scroll, the DOM nodes update to reflect the numbers being displayed. So this way, we can implement a more performant list to display items. Alright, with that, we come to the end of this Angular Material series. I hope you are now in a better position to start using some of the material components in your own projects. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications. I'll see you guys in the next series.